thought I'd share this. As you can see, there's a mess on the ground. But I thought I'd share how a solenoid works. There's a little coil there, but <coughs> how it works is those are the posts that goes up into those two holes there. But let me show you from here. This is the coil. You give power to it. It's just like an electromagnet. This is a little steel bowl thing that fits over the coil like that. Then that goes on there. And this sits just below these two terminals like that. And when you give it power, it pushes this up and connects the two terminals, connecting the circuit and all. Makes plenty of sense to me, and just like everything else I do, I buy a new one, and I take the old one apart and figure out that all it is is something really simple. In this case, bad ground. But, um, yeah, that's all that was wrong with it, so probably good to get a new one anyway. So I'll just stick with the new one. Can't return it anyway. Came through Sears.com, but... I thought I'd show that with you. Oh, and there's this spring here. This goes into the bottom. This like that for padding. With this, because this is a pretty strong magnet. And see, so far it's like that. And you have this bowl that goes over the top of it. Then it goes to this little spring that goes in the bowl. Then this little guy, I'm not quite sure what that's for. Oh, dang, just lost the spring, but then I guess this is just a stopper to keep it from going all the way up, but then it connects these two terminals right there and makes the whole solenoid work, so. All it was was background, and I spent $24 on a new solenoid, not including shipping. So, yeah. Alright, I just thought I'd share that with you. Seemed like an interesting thing to share. Maybe for someone who doesn't know how a coil works, and, or a solenoid works, and wants to know how it works. But, see, I've only took off like a tenth of this coil tenth of the wire. The wire comes around there, along there, and that big mess over there. You can barely see it. There's a lot of wire over there, so there's probably 600 loops on this, I'm guessing. Alright, well, I just thought I'd share that. It seemed like an interesting thing to share. And all it took to open this was a hammer and a chisel and some prying and possible swearing. So, that's it. Just thought I'd share it with you.